There aren't many unsolved problems that cause caregivers to get as worked up as stealing does. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of the fact that uh, stealing's just another unsolved problem, or we're going to solve it in the exact same way that we do other unsolved problems. In fact, stealing is a behavior, so you're not even going to write stealing as the unsolved problem. It's difficulty respecting other people's property. But what gets caregivers all worked up about it is that uh, it's very serious, stealing, um, and it doesn't bode well for the future if it continues. The good news is the very, very vast majority of kids I've worked with who had difficulty respecting other people's property um, already knew that they weren't supposed to take other people's stuff. So, it's going to be the exact same three steps. You don't necessarily have to send a really strong message. The kid already knows he's not supposed to be stealing. Um, he's not trying to pull the wool over your eyes. This is not necessarily a sign that he is a budding criminal. So we can calm down a little bit and pull out our three steps because they're going to serve us really well. I've seen difficulty respecting other people's property gets solved really well with plan B and not very well at all with plan A. What we're missing here is information. Information from the kid about what's hard, about respecting other people's property. You'd be amazed at the number of interesting things I've heard in the empathy step on difficulty respecting other people's property. But of course, that's true with almost any unsolved problem. You're going to get the information you need in the empathy step of plan B. Do you have important concerns about difficulty respecting other people's property? Of course you do, but that doesn't mean you have to use plan A to solve that problem. You're going to get those concerns not only heard, but also addressed in plan B. And in the invitation, of course, you and the kid are trying to come up with a solution that's not only going to address his concerns, but also address your concerns. I find we're a lot more successful in getting that problem solved as well as any other problem solved when we are engaging the kid in the process of solving it rather than by simply doing something to him, by finding out what's really getting in the kid's way, by having the kid take our concerns into account as well, and by working toward a solution that works for both of us. In that respect, difficulty respecting other people's property in any different than any other unsolved problem, we don't have to get real worked up about it, we just have to solve it collaboratively.